and this is high. Don't try that at home. I don't know if you're supposed to do that. Um, hey y'all, it's Kara Delin. And today we're gonna talk about getting labels off of products. A real common way of getting inventory, especially to send in to Amazon, is through retail arbitrage or online arbitrage and sometimes, for example, this liquidation product that we're gonna work on today, these sets of Martha Stewart uh, cookie cutters, but they all came with stickers and we have to remove that before we're able to resell them. Then we also have things like this, bought at the flea market and it just has a standard uh, little price tag. And then we have things from department stores where it has the department store tag uh, sticker and we're gonna to need to remove those. So here are a few products that I have that I typically use quite a bit when I'm removing labels. And this could be for gifts that you're gonna give or uh, personal items where you want to get the sticky labels off of things without leaving a residue or looking like there was something on there. So the first thing you'll hear everybody talk about in the reselling game is a Scotty peeler. And I don't really know what the background is on why it's called a Scotty Peeler, but there's a few different types that I've purchased off of eBay. And the first is this plastic version. And I believe that it came in a three pack. And it's just plastic, basic plastic. It wasn't very expensive at all. But I also purchased this official Scotty Peeler. And it is metal and it has sharp corners. There you go. So, we're gonna try both of those today. I don't know which one I'm gonna like better, but those are two different types of Scotty peelers. I've seen people open boxes with the metal kind as well, but I have a box cutter for that. Then I also use a product called Goo Gone. Goo Gone is something that we've just used around the house for a long time and it gets rid of any sticky residues on anything and you just use a dab. I promise you just a little bitty bit. And this bottle, if you can see, we probably had this bottle for about three years or so, a long time. It's still going strong. And then I always have some paper towels or some type of reusable cloth. My most recent upgrade for the office has been buying a heat gun. And before I had the heat gun, I just used a little compact travel blow dryer, like a hair blow dryer, but it didn't um, diffuse or concentrate the heat in one area. It kind of just blew all over, but um, it'll get you through if you don't have a heat gun. And I think I only paid around $20 for this one off of um, eBay, I believe I got this one. But it has two settings. I'll turn it on for you. This is low. And this is high. Don't try that at home. I don't know if you're supposed to do that. Um, so it does get hot really quick and this little metal end here can get really hot. So just be careful when you're using it. Uh, if you're like me, I, I hurt myself all the time. So first what we're gonna try to do is just peel this off without any tools. And sometimes, like you can see with this one, the edge of that sticker has already come up. So we're just gonna lightly delicately pull that and as you can see no residue brand new so i'll go through and remove them these i can just use the tools on my person all right this one i know i've tried to remove these before and they're the type of sticker i don't know if that will pick up or not it has little ridges in like the die cut of the sticker. So when you start to peel it, it just breaks into a million pieces. So on this one, I think we're gonna try to use the plastic Scotty Peeler. Now this is a thin plastic bag that these invitations are in. So I don't know that the heat gun would be a great option for this because it may shrink up that delicate plastic. So we're just gonna try 
And we're basically just trying to get the corners up just like we were doing it with our fingernails. And you can tell it's not gonna come up very easy. So I could use the Goo Gone. I'm gonna hit it really quick with heat and see what happens maybe on low. Okay, and you can see it started to short, sort of shrink that up. So we don't wanna do that for long. But while it's good and warm, let's see if we can't just get that to slide right off. That plastic one sucks, y'all, for me. Now what I'm nervous about on this one is that it's so sharp, it could bust through the wrapper. I'm gonna try a little bit of heat one more time. And then I'm gonna shut my mouth <laughs> not really and try to get this label off while it's good and warm and guess what guys it didn't come all the way off so here's we're gonna break out our goo gone if you saw that price tag it was 10 cents I bought casefuls of invitations and loot bags for 10 cents each and uh, you can currently buy them on Amazon. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of the Goo Gone, and literally, it's a child-proof uh, top. We're gonna to do it just like it's fingernail polish remover or something, just up and down, boom, boom. And you can see there's just a little bit of like a oily wetness, moisture, damp. And we're gonna just rub where this label was. And you can see that it starts to disintegrate anything that was sticky. Now this one, I don't know if all of them do, like I said, this one was from years ago, but this one smells a lot like orange. You know, it's got like an orange, it's coming off, an orange scent. Kind of reminds me of uh, growing up in the garage and smelling the fast orange. My dad ran a, a business out of our house. So I've been sort of business minded from way back. All right, so this one has been more difficult to get that sticker off. And it was only 10 cents, y'all, really. Okay. Well, with the combination of the plastic Scotty peeler and some goo gone, and you can tell it's very valuable and very fragile because of my delicate handling of it. Hang on just a second. It's okay. It's all right. That's why I don't do breakables. Um, let's try one of these department store tags. All right, so you guys know I was ungated in Barbie. I'm sorry if you hear the guy mowing in the back. This sticker, oh my gosh, guys, it's peeling right off. Look at this. Boom. Now, the corner left just a little bit of residue. So I'm going to take my Goo Gone that I was using from the last sticker. I don't need much, just with what's left on the paper towel couple of swipe swipes and you do want to make sure it's not oily in the end good as new so this is one of the more uh, well I guess I should say less glamorous parts of being a reseller is removing tags and keeping things in pristine condition um, it's not necessarily fun but it's something I like to give my husband to work on when he's out here sipping his margaritas he's really good with managing all the the tools he's real good with tools i me not so much but we get the job done working together teamwork makes the dream work all right y'all goo gone i'm goo gone i'm out of here get your heat gun or a hair dryer oh and one last tip for those of you that stuck around to the end you can actually remove choose one of these 10 cent things Permanent marker, this is a Sharpie. Permanent marker, and I'm gonna write on this. I'm gonna write 
test. See down there? Test. We want it to dry. There's two different options you have, and you're just going to have to try one on your own because I don't have it to show you. But if you have permanent marker on something, Goodwill's really bad about doing this, you can take a dry erase marker and write over the writing, and it'll wipe right off. Um, another thing that will take it off is isopropyl alcohol. That will usually take off uh, permanent writing. And this Goo Gone, we're going to try it out. So here it is. It's my same paper towel from, from the last few orders. So if you're a magician, you can work this into a magic trip. Magic trip? How about a magic trick? Lord have mercy. And there you go. Good as new. So Goo Gone will take off permanent marker and labels and it says crayon, tape, grease. I don't know. Goo Gone. Little goes a long way. All right. Bye, y'all.